Ladies and gentlemen, what we are presenting you today is a budget that deals with the new reality. It is balanced. It is the lowest spending budget of all the budgets presented, including the uh, enacted budget last year. It is under the spending cap that left just about 24 hours ago. We as a state received new news, a new reality, if you will, from the Office of Policy and Management and the Office of Fiscal Analysis who did their consensus revenue figures. What it showed is that the surplus for fiscal year 14, the fiscal year we are in, has been dramatically reduced uh, by about $462.2 uh, million from what it was originally anticipated to be, which was $504 million. In addition to that, the fiscal year 2015 budget had a shortfall of just shy of $300 million or $282.6 million. We're here, what, roughly a week ago to present our alternative to the budget adjustments made by both the governor and the Democrats in the Appropriations Committee. We realize that all of us need to uh, adopt the new reality of yesterday's revenue numbers, and we did just that, and we're here to report to you within 24 hours how we handled that situation. With regard to the first problem, that being the fiscal 14 excess revenue, as we call it, surplus as they call it, it has to be reduced from $404.6 million to $42 million. You might recall that we had several items uh, wherein we proposed the use of that excess revenue. Unfortunately, because of the economic news, we are not able to uh, go through with many of those things. What we are able to do is at least make this year's payment against the Unemployment Compensation Fund, uh, fund Special Assessment to the tune of $15 million, as well as devote $27.4 million or the remainder of the surplus towards debt reduction, either by way of partial payment of the ERN notes or other outstanding debt. Fiscal 2015 deficit problem, wherein we uh, had a $282 million shortfall based on the new revenue figures. Uh, the first stop was OFA, wherein we found that in current services, they had done some recalculations and found that their current services estimates were approximately $49.4 million too high. So there was a savings right there of $49.5 million. We also had to reduce the municipal revenue sharing account by $5 million, but still note that it is still more municipal aid than the Democrats and the governor have offered in their preceding budgets. And it fully restores, or excuse me, once again restores the account which had completely been eliminated by the governor and the Democrats. We also instituted a hard hiring freeze at the savings of $5.6 million, a statewide travel ban saving $2.3 million, and reduced the legislative management budget by $5 million. You add all of that up, we come to balance. When we put out our first budget, it's always curious to see what our good friends have to say about it. They didn't have much to say because it was pretty straightforward and easy to understand. They said there was phantom savings, and yet many of you rightfully reported it was the most detailed budget that you had had to date. We showed every single nickel of every single cut. They or anybody out there might not like our budget, but I defy you to say that there's phantom savings. Remember, I think you all said it. It was their budget. They own it. We as the minority party are doing our best to correct it, but it's their budget that we're dealing with.